Here we well, go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that quite neatly brings us to the fourth fight of the night. Hailing from Sydney, standing at an impressive six feet and three inches tall. Weighed in at 121 kilograms with a 16 and a half inch forearm. He is your former national open weight champion. Welcome to the cage, Lachlan Carpenter! Yeah, here he comes, Lachlan Carpenter. Out of the same club as the last man, Mario Tembarkas, Lachlan Carpenter. Big time top roller. Here we go, big boy. As he gets that one step. Here we go. We love you, Rocky. Changing back to the right arm, of course, this match. As we wait for the referee as well, who's not yet in the ring. <laughs> He's just stuck off the tall. He's just raced and up to the top. <laughs> hailing from the Sunshine State. Stands at six feet tall. Weighed in at 113 kilograms. Has an 18-inch forearm. He is your former Ashina right-hand champion. Welcome to the cage, Doug Fetafi. And of course, Doug Fetafi, a former Australian national champion, was one of the most dominant arm wrestlers in the scene. We need to wait for the referee. Here he comes, his return. Tim Graham back to the stage, ready to go. Uh, but Doug Fetafi, as I said, a former national champion. Lachlan Carpenter, he won the national title last right, year. These, right. these guys, there's, there's a lot of tension between these two guys. Both of them had a lot to say about this match, a lot of emotion in this one. Are you guys, well, it's probably are you guys the most trash there? talk between any of the opponents. This way, just a little Here bit. Here we go. Round number one. Shoulder. Go! And we're off to the strap straight away. Neither guy brave enough to hold on there. That's an indication that the back pressure from both guys far Pop too much for the, for the finger flexion me, of either of them. Here we go. Into the straps we go. Just come down it was interesting bit, in the, in the trash talk that Doug almost revealed his game plan, saying hold that he was going on, to be hooking Lockwood. Hold on, hold on. Uh, going for the yeah, slip yeah, there. Hold Maybe hold he feels yeah, very comfortable in the strap to try to get a hook position. Yeah, we saw it in the trash talk. Didn't he? Doug said he makes it's no secret. I'm going to force a hook on you and I'm going to throw you off the table. And of course, Lachlan had a Lachlan Carpenter re right. returning serve with, I'm going to bust your wrist back and make you look stupid. So here we go. That's right, we'll find out right now. Yeah, you, no, you can, put a you can put a finger there. That's, hold on, let me, just, let me just get it sorted. Yep, just don't move Doug it up or down. Doug from the Brisbane Club, one of the Brisbane eight, of course, the, the, the very famous Brisbane eight, the original Brisbane heavy hitter. He was the number one, he was the national champion in Australia from a period of about 2013 through to about 2018. This is a match here. Here we go, Lachlan Carpenter, oh, Doug Fatafee. Dog Fatafi from, of course, Tonga originally. Now representing Australia. Here we go. Round number one. There's top roll versus hook here. Classic battle. Shoulder. Shoulder. You happy there? You happy there? Go! And there's the start. Oh, and it's too strong. Carpenter. Opens Doug up, gets through. You can see the hands were flat and the tension was there, but the Pro Nation stayed intact from Lachlan Carpenter, gets through for that first victory. One to zero. They were very comfortable in that. A good victory from Lachlan there, taking a 1-0 lead over Fatapihi. Yeah, let's see. The, the, the buckle side on that time was on the back of Doug's hand, so that will uh, assist him this time around when he, when he gets that opportunity, should they end up in the strap once again. Mm. Uh, as Mata Iwarangi comes over and has a chat to Doug. Of course, Doug, back in the day, was fighting back and forth with Mata Iwarangi, has victories over Mata Iwarangi in years gone by. Uh, but this, of course, his return to professional arm wrestling. Uh, it's been some time to see if the man from Tonga can return to his former yeah. dominance. Yeah, it might take a round or two before he sort of yeah. starts clicking back into gears, but this man has the tools and the experience right, to claim a victory. But the man he's facing is on an upward trajectory. He is a very much rising star, Lock on Carpenter. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They're opting straight to go into the straps. Is Both that a, guys. Is that no. a good move for, for Doug? Well, yeah, but look, Doug's a strap puller, absolutely. Both these guys are strap pullers. They know that that's where their power is. I don't think either of them intend on holding on. Uh, it, it's, it's hard. Uh, Doug wouldn't, wouldn't hold on to Lachlan's top roll outside yeah. of straps, and I don't, think, I don't think Lachlan would dare come into the hook with him. So it's one-way straight, straight to the strap. Great. You can see the kickback wrist, the high fingers kickback wrist there from Doug in that setup there as he's looking to get as far past the pronation as possible of his opponent, get it, that strap right, nice and tight. Here we go. In the strap, round number two. It is one to zero currently. Lockwood Carpenter in the lead. Shoulder. Doug Fatafi on the left. A little bit this way. Go! And this time we have a stop there from Doug oh. with a second Winner. surge. 
The timing of that second surge, very yeah. impressive. As we look at the replay now, there's you'll watch it, you'll see that second surge just before Doug was about to get set and get tight and start going sideways. A big aggressive second hit there from Lock and Carpenter, taking a 2-0 to zero lead. Yeah, timed that second hit perfectly. Well, That's one of those things, if you do get a stop, you are working to get your company, you're working to get your position defensively, but Lachlan busting him open, getting the pin before uh, Doug was able to start setting his defence. Yeah, that was good intuition there and table IQ from Lock and Carpenter, who sensed that Doug was looking for position once again, and instead he just said, well, no, here comes the second round, the barrage is coming once again and getting through the gate for the pin. It's one of those things that can really take seconds, you by surprise guys. as well. If you've caught that, that first initial surge, it's not usually that the second surge will come that quickly. You, you yeah. usually get a big surge. If you stop it, there'll be a couple of breaths. You can start working into your position and then the opponent might surge again. Yeah. But Lachlan Carpenter went into double time there with his movements and that, as you said, it paid off. It, caught, go, it caught his opponent napping and he got through the gate. But right now, 2-0. to zero. Your grip. Lachlan Carpenter in the lead straps? so far. Yeah. Straight yep. to the straps oh, once again. Hands open, please. Now, again, Doug Fetafi on the difficult side of the strap here. This yeah, is going to be a difficult one for him. Let's see if there's any variations to the way he sets his wrist. But so far, hasn't been able to force that hook against the bigger man who Lachlan Carpenter weighing in at 125 kilos today. Doug Five Fettifee kilos one, heavier one, than AW1. Yeah, 113 for Doug. Jeez. Both guys, big guys. All right, here we go. Strap being tightened down. You can see that pronated back pressure from Lachlan Carpenter is his lead weapon. Doug looks to Your get grip. past, looks for some control, trying to force it into this hook. Are you guys happy there? Hasn't gone inside at all no. this whole match. Go! Stop! And wow. One surge, pin. Lachlan Carpenter looking like he's starting to get ahead there in the energy stakes and running away with this one. Doug Fatafi looked like he was happy with this, where his hand was positioned, but once you, once, the, once you start breaking down, it's nothing much you can do. No, that's right, absolutely. So Lachlan Carpenter with a 3-0 lead against Doug Fatafi here on his comeback. Unfortunately, he's down here. He's going to have to make some huge changes in his setup and his adjustments. If he wants to get into a hook position, he almost... I feel like he gave himself away with that, that trash talk right, and, and saying his game plan. And Lachlan was able to say, well, if that's what you're going to do, I'm going to just prevent you from doing that. Yeah, there we go. Well, it is 3-0 to zero at the moment, Lachlan, uh, walking the talk so far. Doug Fatafi having to, to dig deep. Not sure trash. if there is but an avenue for him, but, but we're going to find out. He's going to no doubt give it all. He's on the good side of the strap this time, so there will be a better opportunity for him to get that hook. Uh, it, it, the variations that he can try, he can deliberately give up his arm and actually try to uh, to give up some space in the arm to trade it for that opportunity to get some wrist flexion, force it into the hook. We'll see if he can pull that one off as Tim Graham now sets the strap. Lachlan Carpenter looking confident so far. He seemed looking calm. Doug Fatafi with the high knuckles position, he's still wanting to protect that back pressure. Are you happy? Here we go. Oh. Round number four. We need to go this way a little Lachlan bit. Lachlan Carpenter up happy? three to zero, one win away. Go! And there's the start. Ooh. Better start this time to Lachlan Carpenter, ah. though. Sets that second loaded hit and gets the victory four to zero over Doug Fatafi. Good performance there, Lachlan Carpenter. Looking dangerous, isn't he? Absolutely. And that's quite a unique style that he's got there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all over. Hey, short and sharp. Let's get in here. Come over here, big fella. Come over here. Gotta make sure we get the logo in there. We got the logo. We got the sponsors. Ladies and gentlemen, a quick round of applause for Lachlan Carpenter. Well, for those that uh, bought the paper, you might not know. Did talk a lot of mad trash beforehand. Uh, you took on one of the a veteran of Australia, one of the best. Let's call it Elliot. You, you handled him pretty well. I just think I counter his style really well. Obviously, I talked a lot of shit, but I do respect the guy, and it was a good match. So I'm keen for my next opponent. Well, let's let's talk about that. You've come, you conquered on the big stage. Now you're looking around, and they here right now. Point them out. Yeah, okay. I don't know if he's in the building yet, but good to buy comps. I really want to you. Gunter's Bikovs, the heavyweight champion. He'll be up a little bit later. He's going to crush it. You just crushed the Doug. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, Lachlan Carpenter. Genuine superstar of the sport. More action to come. Blue and Matt, back to you guys.